and like I filmed a few videos recently and all of them I've gone to edit and just been like I, I just don't like them you can't just sit up in your room writing love letters you gotta tell people how you feel when you feel it So I'm currently working on part of... So I'm currently doing up my room in my parents' house as I've just finished my exams. And um, so, what is this, may you ask? This is a little segment of the video that's not going to be in the video. This is going really poorly. This is a shelf that used to look like this. And then I'm currently painting with a primer after we've sanded it. And then I'm going to paint it white because I'm a basic ass bitch. And I thought I'd chat while I do it because... No one wants to see me painting a piece of wood and chatting shit, but here we are. I think I just got some on my bum. Oh shit. Bitch. Don't be alarmed, it's just me. Um, didn't you know that I worked at Lush and I just try out all the face masks all the time and apparently curl my eyebrows in them. This isn't a good look for me. So I just finished work and I'm about to try out all my Colourpop makeup because I'm going to a cricket presentation. So exciting. So I'm sorry this is so many get ready of me's in a row, but we're just gonna get right into it. So to start with, I'm actually just prepping my face with the Bunny Moon mask from Lush. Also, if you just here to see the Colourpop makeup or just makeup in general, then just skip forward like 30 seconds and you'll get right to it, okay? But while those fake bitches are gone, I mean, you've got to have a chance. So here in my disgustingly lit kitchen is where I'm about to make some coffee because I'm not drinking tonight because I'm driving because I'm working tomorrow morning, shocker. So that's why I'm having a coffee because that's the closest I can get. Why do I always sound like an alcoholic? I swear every video on my channel I'm like getting drunk recently. In my defense, I'm a student. Also in my defense, those seem to be the only times I film. Special treat, today we're opening up this after dark blend of coffee, which is apparently deep and seductive, but it literally says, get closer and embrace the evening. Perfect reason to invite someone back. But it's just me and you, be sure we'll go and drink some coffee. Also, if someone knows how to open, if someone knows how to open these without like splitting the bag open, as what happened with like my previous two, um, let me know because I don't know how the hell you do it. So I end up having to just clip them. Starbucks have their actual shit together and give you these clips. <sighs> so now that my skin is glowing, we're gonna move on to the main event. I'm really sorry for the lighting. It's very yellow mainly because it's a desk lamp. I've only literally got like 20 minutes to get ready. So basically, the premise of this video is I got a parcel from Colourpop. I ordered all this stuff for my birthday and I've never had a package come through like this before and it made me feel like I was getting a PR package. So this is gonna start the same way all of these start. My diamond, my diamond. So this is just my spritz me quick. Moisture. Let that sick in, sick it. You can tell I've been working all day. I'm just gonna prime my face with this prime time bare minerals. Really sorry that it's already started off not color pop. Why aren't I, what am I doing? Why aren't I looking in a mirror? So my skin was actually looking really good last week and then now it's just like, everything's gone red. So that's nice. Just in time for when I'm actually like, doing something. Yeah, so I've just officially finished all my training today for Lush. <laughs> so, because I've now finished my training, they expect more from me, which is nice and terrifying. Oh my God, when I'm in a rush, why do I just like forget what? So this is the Colourpop No Filter Foundation in Light 45. Yes. So I ordered this for my birthday, my 21st. Woot woot, because 
I saw like so many reviews of Colourpop and everyone's saying how great it was and they like don't test some animals and all that really nice stuff that I want in um, makeup. I didn't realise that you can't buy it in the UK, you have to like have it shipped from America. So I'm now going to take light 10, I feel like I could have just done this with a sponge and it would have been a lot better but I've really got to move on because I don't have the time for that. It's very light. Sorry that this light is so crap. So yeah, working life going well. Not so much. I'm not very good at my job. You know, some people are like naturals and kind of, what's the word? Not like bullshitting, but like just selling. Some people are just sellers, for lack of a better word, sellers. You like know who these people are instantly. And I can like snap into like a, I'm getting a call. Just realized that I'm not gonna be using the ColourPop brow gel today. What's new? The may being that I just realized that I haven't shaved my legs in like three weeks and um, I'm wearing a play suit. This video has gone very downhill. Okay, so here's what I look like right now. Um, if you haven't guessed already, I'm really, really late. Uh, but here's me now. Here's my play suit. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Sorry, it's been an absolute mess. Mm, love you. Mwah. Hello, I am, oh my God, that was disgusting. I am back home in this lovely, aesthetically pleasing background in my old room in my parents' house. Basically, I came back in and was just looking through like all of the things in my room and was just like, I have so much old makeup that I refuse to throw out. And it'd be cool to like take a look at it. Okay, so basically my makeup is scattered around my desk area. So I have this old box that's got stuff in. I have like all of these uh, makeup as well. Um, as well as that one down there. And I also have drawers as well. Oh my God. So as I've gone through these, it's literally a blast from the past. I didn't realize just like how much makeup could remind you of like a time in your life. But I just picked up like things from for each like part of my makeup routine. Oh, and I'm also gonna try and use my old brushes, which include some really pretty just dead brushes that I probably shouldn't put on my face. It literally smells like crayons. I'm just gonna wipe off the top layer. It's just dragging my skin. I don't think this is gonna blend very easily. No, this literally feels like I've just put Crayola on my face. This was a bad decision. So I'm gonna go in with a foundation. And I think I might go for my classic Primark. Oh my God, this is gonna be horrendous. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> right, so I know obviously the consistency's probably changed sitting in a bottle for four years, but this is actually horrendous. This smells horrendous as well. Why didn't I swatch test before I put this on? Is it the brush? Is it the foundation? Is it the base? It's probably all. Oh my god, that's actually disgusting. This is the Garnier BB Cream. Look at that for a colour. This is meant to be light. And at the moment, I'd say that I'm way more tan than porcelain, clearly. And that is still just... That is not very light at all. So these BB Creams, I don't know why I ever used these. I might just add that in for a bit of colour. God. I look like a ghost. Right, well, the only concealer I could find is this NYX one. Again, it's too pinky for my skin tone. Look at how pink that is. Like, it just, yeah, again, I can't use that. Let's just try and give myself some definition. So I used to use this e.l.f. or creamy, what is it called? HD mattifying cream foundation oil free. Again, why did I use stuff that was oil free and mattifying when I had 
dry skin. Oh my god. I swear I'm actually trying to make this look good. I think this is the best we're gonna get. Right, so um, as you can see, my base was terrible. The highlighter, I mean, doesn't look that bad. I've had worse. My lips are just not for me. My eyebrows, to be fair, the product wasn't that bad, but everything on my eyes is horrific. Like the eyeliner, the mascara. I applied this eyeshadow as best as I could and it just clumped everywhere. Oh my god. I was like, this is going to be such a fun video to film and instead it was just incredibly stressful. But I hope you at least kind of enjoyed it. Hopefully, maybe I made it more entertaining with some editing. I don't know if I did or not.